is that we were right there the whole game. Um, we were up a couple points, I think, you know, in the middle of the game, and, uh, and we just kind of let it slip away at, towards the end. They got on a few runs, like Elle said, um, and we couldn't get the defensive stop. Is that what changed at the end? Yeah, I think so. And then the foul situation, of course. Um, that's when they were able to extend their lead to 10. Talk about the progress the team has made, though, over the last three weeks. I mean, even though it's a, no such thing as moral losses, there was a lot to pull from. Right. Yeah, well, we just, we've just we been learning from each game. You know, even when we went down to Southern California, we played well down there, but we just couldn't finish the games. And uh, we just trying to learn from those experiences. Do you think it's a matter of trying too hard to finish games instead of being relaxed in that situation? Or do you think that it's just... No, I think we just... Um, I, don't, I think we just kind of, um, well, the fouling situation tonight was a big key towards the end because, you know, it was 10 to 5 at one point, which is really, you know, that's not good. So um, we just kept fouling, and then they just kept going to the free throw line, and that was a big part of the game. Is that a sign of you sort of, you guys getting a little bit maybe kind of frantic at the end? Well, I think in the beginning of the games, we had some foul trouble. You know, we had Sicily with two oh. fouls. We had Chap with two fouls. Um, which, you know, can bite you in the butt at the end of the game, which it did. Well, how much, I mean, how much were you guys trying to foul? <coughs> is it just defensive breakdowns so that you're forced to make, I mean? Well, at, towards the end, like with a minute 30 left, we're purposely trying to foul so we can slow the game down. Um, but earlier than that, we, weren't, we were trying to play good, solid defense, and they were just coming at us. Um, and Westerberg, she just kept going to her left, and we kept fouling her, so. Good things that you can take from it, maybe, maybe confidence-wise. Well, yeah, I mean, we scored 70 points against uh, um, a no number 11 team, which is definitely a positive. Um, so hopefully we can take that down to Cal and Stanford. Um, just keep rolling with it. How do you keep an offensive focus without, while also getting back to the defensive focus that you've had in the past? Um, well, we just have to stick to our game plan and still execute everything that we've been told, which I think we've been doing a really good job of just – now we have to finish the shots, finish the layups, um, and then keep working hard on defense and just playing the scout. Which side do you think controlled the tempo tonight? Um, I think towards the end they did because it was pretty up and down type tempo, and we were trying to slow them down a little bit. Um, so I would have to say towards the end the game they were they had the tempo. In the first half, were you guys looking to run with them? Um, no, we wanted to slow the game down. We wanted to execute our offense and just really attack their pressure as well because um, they're a really in-your-face kind of team. And I think we did a really good job of that. We just weren't finishing down low.